Uh, Ava, let's come to you. A reform candidate defects to the Tories. What's going on there? This is Liam Booth Isherwood, and she, he has defected over the... Well, he was very shocked to find that there were some uh, racism allegations leveraged at the Reform Party. So he has switched teams now away from reform, and he's supporting the local Conservative candidate, which is going to be very welcome news to Kemi Badnock, who mm -hmm. is the uh, former business minister, because she was on the front of the, I forget, I believe it was the Express yesterday, could it have been the Telegraph, um, and she was very upset that people were switching to Conservatives, and she was, set, sorry, switching away from the Conservatives. She actually said it was breaking her heart. So it's been very welcome news for her. Well, Nigel Farage has criticised uh, Channel 4 for uh, the undercover investigation. He claims the man who made the racist comments, Andrew Parker, was an actor and part of a smear campaign. Let's have a look at what he said. I mean, this is the most outrageous smear I've ever seen. This guy is a setup. He was acting from the minute he walked into that office. He came up with a stream of invective not seen since Alf Garnett was on the television in the early 1970s. And some of it was just, I mean, you know, turning moths in the Weatherspoons. It wasn't even serious, it was nonsense. Um, so I, I, I really feel. Uh, that Channel 4 or the production company need to be called before an inquiry. Let's find out the truth about what happened. Well, I can tell you that Channel 4 News say, uh, we strongly stand by rigorous and duly impartial journalism, which speaks for itself. We met Mr Parker for the first time at Reform UK Party headquarters, where he was a Reform Party canvasser. We did not pay Reform UK canvasser or anyone else in the report. Mr Parker was not known to Channel 4 News uh, and was filmed covertly via undercover operation. Uh, Jeff, is this going to be a, a big problem for reform? I mean, setting aside Andrew Parker, the fact that one of their own candidates has switched uh, allegiance to the Conservatives because uh, he's saying that he's concerned of uh, reports of widespread racism and sexism. I think it is... Um as Ava says, it's a bit late in the day. I don't know how the I don't know whether it have cut through as a story is the first thing. I do think what we see with the polls uh, on reform is they sort of seem to have reached a kind of ceiling. There was a surge element after Farage became leader, and that seems to have tailed off. And I just think one thing with Farage himself is like. Yes, this, ca this character that was a campaigner or, or was canvassing um, is an unusual character, there's no doubt about it if you've seen the videos. But the leap to then imply that either the production company or Channel 4 have effectively paid him, that, we're getting into some serious conspiracy, Trumpy type stuff here. And I think if there's one thing that the people, the British public, that like Nigel Farage would say, is quite direct, you know, mm. and he has a sense of humour about himself. Just in the last few days, I think that he hasn't taken responsibility for things. And I think that the public like to see politicians do that. And in some ways, he started to sound like the exact people that he's criticising. And also, you know, he's had an excuse every single time that something has come up in the last couple of weeks. So the last time that there were allegations against the party, he was blaming it on the vetting company yeah. that they had employed to, to look mm. through, you know, all of their candidates. But this does remind me, actually, of... Um, Patsy Stevenson, who was the, the young woman who was held up by the police during the Sarah Everard vigil, straight mm. after that, you know, her, her picture was in every, front of every single newspaper uh, where she was being held up. And all people had to say was, well, she's an actress. Mm. They found her on an acting website and they said, well, she's only doing this to for, you know, forward her own career. I think the point is, you can be an actor and you can also be a political activist. Yep. It's actually a job. Yeah, I, I, and, and also, you know, for, for, for accusations like this, I think having some evidence would, or some proof uh, for your accusations would, would go a long way. And uh, so far, there hasn't been anything put forward from a reform. Um, we mentioned uh, Earwash, uh, the constituency, of course. Here are the other candidates standing in Earwash as well.